Hi everyone, Marisa here. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two little kids. They're both under four years old and I'm making this series about sleep training. I'm sharing all of my thoughts and wisdom and knowledge about sleep training and the process of it. And in today's video, I wanted to kind of um, tell you why I decided to sleep train, even though I prior was pretty strongly against sleep training. Um, I've changed my mind and I want to tell you why. I want to tell you um, exactly what was going through my head. If you're not ready for this level of um, transparency and honesty, maybe watch something else because I feel like there's a lot of like joking around the sleep day deprivation parents go through. Like the moms always run on coffee and that you're always tired and always like in your sweatshirt because you don't have time for anything and um it's almost like it's glamorized the way that like you know you're constantly sleep deprived you're constantly exhausted and it's normal and where i feel like it's normal when you have a newborn when it's all new and they're just like want to be with you all the time that's totally fine like the first three months four months i would not worry about how the baby sleeps where they sleep like just keep them close to you or whatever they can get sleep they need to get the sleep but there comes time eventually where you cannot run on to an hour of sleep um, and be woken up every two hours, every single night for months. And that's how it was for me. And when I was talking to someone and they would say like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. My baby wakes up like twice at night. And like they're six months old and they wake up twice. I would be like, oh my God, like that's ideal. Like I wouldn't mind waking up twice but i would often be awake like i felt like all the time like i would barely fall asleep and i would be awake again with my first daughter when she was a baby um she was also not a good sleeper or maybe i just didn't know how to organize it and how to um, help her have a good sleep but i did try to have her sleep in like a little um cradle and then crib and it wasn't really working she was waking up a lot too so she pretty quickly ended up um in bed with us and i was breastfeeding her to sleep and co-sleeping and that worked fine um up until she was a toddler and i don't have anything against that absolutely not i don't think you have to sleep train or i don't think your baby has to sleep in the crib like i'm all for you know whatever works for the family but when our second child was born when our son was born um he we were like hoping that we'll get a baby that sleeps like the one the ones that you hear about you know there are some tales and stories about babies who sleep um on their own like when they're babies babies they sleep for like long stretches and he wasn't and honestly the first like three four months i barely remember i don't even know what what was going on to be honest i was so tired but he would take his naps pretty much only in a chest carrier or we had like a pram bassinet stroller so he would take naps there and i wasn't like worried about it because i knew that's how it is but at night he would wake up a ton too and that was mostly due to his acid reflex he also had a pretty poor latch um when he was nursing because he had a strong lip tie and tongue tie that eventually we got that fixed. Um, but then his feeding kind of even got worse over the time. That's another whole story and whole topic. But um, generally it seemed like breastfeeding was actually almost hurting him in a way that he would um, just have an upset stomach a lot, a lot of crying a lot of burping spitting up you could definitely see that he is very gassy very uncomfortable i remember like around 6 30 7 o'clock at night pretty much every night for a few months he was absolutely miserable and i had to just rock him in a chest carrier and hold my daughter's hand who also didn't know how to fall asleep on her own because my husband was working late so here i am in the darkness rocking a whining crying newborn and holding my daughter's hand um, who who won't let me leave her alone for a little bit and that is fine like once in a while but that was literally every single night and like i said i was able to accept that for a little bit like okay he's a newborn this is all gonna get better but it wasn't getting better pretty much at all even though we got his lip and tongue tie revised um his latch doesn't didn't really improve it even got worse because now he kind of associated um eating with pain so it was all kind of messy and um, i remember having a night where i just had enough and 
and um, I was just so tired and so frustrated that my baby wouldn't let me lay him down just to get some sleep. I had to sleep next to him because every time he woke up, I would wake up and I would just like feed him even though I knew the feeding is actually causing him to wake up again, but I just didn't know what to do. He was waking up just so much and um, I just, I was so frustrated and so tired that I'm just needed so much. My toddler would have a fit in the middle of the night that she cannot be with mommy, even though we did try to like have her sleep <clears throat> next to me and feed the baby here. But then it was such a mess. I barely remember it. I just remember my son like constantly spitting up and constantly just like waking up. It was such a mess and I was so frustrated that I just hated everything. I hated everybody. I was so frustrated. Um, I didn't feel like myself. I couldn't wear my contact lenses even though I wear them now every day and I wore them for like years through different sleep deprivations from like work or whatever and I never had a point in my life that I just couldn't put them in but I couldn't wear my contact lenses because my skin around my eyes and my eyes were just in pain like it was just so I was constantly like getting colds and I was constantly getting sick because of being so tired I just didn't enjoy my life I even questioned if um, having a second baby was a mistake because I can obviously I cannot handle it like was it too early I just can't handle two kids and that was all because I was just so damn tired <laughs> So there was one night that I do remember that I was just like losing it, screaming at everybody in the middle of a night. Like that's honestly what happened. And after that, we decided we need to sleep train our son. That's it. That my husband was just so frustrated to see me so tired and go through this so much. And we decided to sleep train and that was life saving, marriage saving, me as a parent, as a mom, as a wife saving. I cannot even say that enough. I cannot um, that's why like the sleep deprivation and sleep issues are like a trigger for me almost when I know that somebody is like going to have a baby I will like try to tell them all that I know so they can prepare for it because I don't want them to go through that and also if I ever have another baby I would now not even think if I'm going to sleep train or not I would probably even do it earlier and I would um, you know just allow myself to um, make it choices that are good for everybody not necessarily just for the baby that also why pretty much shortly after um, sleep training our son I um, weaned him off breast milk and he was doing so much better on formula he was like had a better latch on the bottle he um, was not burping or spitting up pretty much at all so I think actually those things that we think are natural and normal um, were hurting him to some degree um, but like I said I mentioned a few different things the lip tie and the breastfeeding that are like a whole another topic I'm making this video mostly for those moms who feel like they're the only one and lonely um, parent on the planet who is so tired and frustrated and everybody else has babies that sleep and like it's all okay it's all chill and good and like that's fine and it's not a lot of us struggle because babies don't want to sleep or they have different issues or or sometimes handling a newborn and a toddler that are very you know dependent on you and needing you to go to sleep and um, want to you at night that's just very exhausting and like um, it's it's just like sometimes too much and after we sleep train our son he shortly after that started to sleep through the night and things changed drastically like I was enjoying things more again um, I was able to go out at night to see a friend I was able to go to a concert I was able to go away for the weekend because my husband could now um, put both of the kids to sleep. I wasn't so needed and the kids were not so dependent on me. Um, and that feels and felt really, really good. I really think it's very important to, um, you know, when you're a parent, you kind of like so you were so focused on your kids that you forget about yourself and you just want to do whatever is best for them at all times. But whatever is best for them, needs to be kind of whatever's best for you because if you're not rested which is a basic thing 
um, rested and you know you don't have some time to yourself you're going to be a miserable parent so in that case my son being breastfed and nursed to sleep and sleeping with me and not sleep trained was not the best thing for us because even though he was close to me at all times he wasn't sleeping and I was not a good mom I feel like I wasn't um, I was really frustrated and just not enjoying the whole process of having a newborn baby I hope you found this video helpful and maybe relatable or maybe you felt like you you're heard um, because other moms go through similar things and those big big frustrations when you really question your decisions um, and you question them because you just don't know what else to do and you don't know you just don't know what to do um, so I want to let you know that you are not alone and that happens and those all of those things are possible to overcome um, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know and I hope you guys did enjoy this video found it helpful um, If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on the comment box down below and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye